A woman is working on a laptop. So we want to empower everybody to do their best work. How can we do that if everybody doesn't have a place to do their best work? My name is Martha Clarkson. My responsibilities at Microsoft are to manage the experience of our workplace environments and designing for people with disabilities. The Hive is a great resource that Microsoft has to build things out of cardboard, to have people come down and test them for us. Martha is showing a man in a wheelchair a testing room. We've mocked up this. I want to see if it works for you to get in and use the room. I'm Sean Merhew and I'm an Escalation Engineer. The role I'm taking here in the Hive is kind of being able to share some accessibility feedback and best practices on how to make some of the employee spaces here at Microsoft more inclusive. Sean demonstrates the confined space of the room. So I don't quite have enough room to turn around here, especially with these chairs here. A chair like this with, without wheels is kind of tough to move on this kind of surface here. That would still be a bit tough to reach. So I could reach kind of the lower third of it only on this half. The more we think about how other people experience things differently, I think that just makes a better experience for everyone as well. Yeah, so that opens up kind of a lot more space to be able to work with it. Okay, great. Exterior of Microsoft Building. My name is Elizabeth Kaczmarek, and I'm the Senior Logistics Manager for the Puget Sound Campus. As we become more connected with the accessibility community at Microsoft, one of the things that we learned is the challenges that our visually impaired community have. So what we've done is started to install tactile walking strips. Somebody that's visually impaired can navigate from the entrance of the door to the shuttle stop and know exactly where the drop-off of pickup location is. I'm Crystal Jones. I'm an escalation engineer here at Microsoft. And with the disability community here in Microsoft, we want to be independent employees. I want to be the person that my manager comes to and say, I can count on you to get this job done. I find conference rooms difficult to lead on my own. We're now working on voice activated conference calling, lighting, as well as projections. So you'll be able to speak to the conference room and get your job done. Footage of Microsoft Cafe. When we design or redesign one of our cafes, we spend a lot of time understanding the needs of our user group. So my name is Mark Freeman, Senior Manager of Global Dining. I'm making sure that they can get into a space with a wheelchair. If they are sight impaired, that they can find their way to different locations. We have a, a cashierless and a cashless payment system. Someone who's blind can come up and touch the buttons on the bar. They can plug in their headphones or they can interact with their phone and walk through the ordering process. It's just human principle of listening and trying to understand the needs of this community that we have that is very, very valuable to our workforce. A focus room is widened in the hive. Many corporations view it as, let's do what code requires. Microsoft views it as, let's go beyond. The improvements we're making, they're not 150% perfect for everyone. But we try, we fail, we pick up and we try again. We can be honest and transparent about that. One of the things that I'm really excited about is to be part of the campus refresh. Because for the first time ever, we'll be able to create an inclusive environment from the ground up. And this is a huge opportunity for us to bake in the accessibility from the beginning. Every time we update, every time we change a building, if we can make it better for the community, then those are little wins that will sort of compile up into a big win. Continue the conversation at aka.ms forward slash ref underscore yammer.